Create Trend View Definition The difference between a trend view definition and the offline or online trend objects is the ability to combine multiple records and data points with different units into one overall view, so the trend view can be very supportive during an investigation or analysis. Our task is to create a new trend view definition from the individual offline trend series from the ventilation system. Since we want to work exclusively with offline trend series, we select the starting point in the application view. We select the offline log objects node, click on add trend and click again on add data point in the series tab. In the select data point dialog box we navigate to the air handling unit in logical view, select search within in the filter and search for trend with an asterisk. This gives us an overview of all the trends from this plant only, which makes it much easier for us to pick out the trend series we want. We navigate and are interested in temperatures and air quality in general, but also in operating modes. With the multiple selection we choose the different series and click on select. Before we want to make any changes in the edit mode, we name, B10, AHU, temperatures, air quality and operating modes, and save this newly created definition in the options. The Flex client has automatically divided the different types into different charts. Then, we switch to edit mode and make a few adjustments for demonstration purposes. The set points should be moved to a separate chart. The new chart 2 has been inserted between charts 1 and 3. We move the other two target values to chart 2 as well and see how two different Y axes have been created automatically. In order to be able to recognize the different trend lines better, we increase the width of the lines. Further we adjust the standard time period in the options to 4 hours and save at the end. The trend view definition is created in no time and the trending shows us always all values at the position of the mouse pointer. The trend is able to display state attributes. This is our next topic.